Hey everybody, it's me RJ today. Aerate. It's a beast. This is a Bluebird 424 Power Aerator. Little tines. Okay, main reason for this is after a hot summer. We didn't have too bad. But poke some holes, reduce compaction in your yard, put the seed in to help overseed. You want to make sure it's a day like today. Whereas I'm going to show you. Where Ground's damp. See that? You don't want it soaking wet. You don't want a little damp. So when you poke holes, it goes in the ground. A lot of people do it when it's way too hot out. It's fine. They're going to have a machine running in a second. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, and they'll only get like this deep that you want it wet. So you do get You don't want it deep. soaked. You want to get like that deep at least, okay? Knuckles. What I like to do is put my finger in afterwards. And I like to be right there, okay? Then you get some seed in there. You get a compaction, which helps get air, water sunlight to the roots so the roots that are compacted into the ground you break out the cores and they can kind of spread and regrow like a new tree like is he doing it just to bother us i think he is we don't know everybody's out because it's a beautiful day everywhere so i'm gonna show you how we do this you can see the ground i'm gonna do a few passes show you how these work if you go you can rent these home depot there's a class in aerator basically the same system I thought they rented Ryan's. One of the Ryan's looks just like this. There's a few of them. It has a Regal Strat. Oh no, this is the Honda GX on this guy. I forgot, by the way, I have the Honda GX 160. It's a good commercially homeowner mower or engine. A little bit of bolt. Okay. Once you got to operate them, you flip the switch on. There's a switch here. Okay. Oh, Call this the easy escape, but it's not easy. The thing is heavy. Okay, that's fuel off, that's fuel on, that's choke on, choke off. This is mine. Uh, I gotta run it with a little bit of choke. If I go down here, it sputters out and dies. It's old. Okay, so what we have here to help you get your cores deep, these two things you can loosen this, pull this. This is a large weight. There we go. It is 30 40 pounds of weight. Easily, okay. Watch here, okay. The machine itself weighs a lot as well. That helps it. These tires are weighted. That help. You're just in the way. No. Tires help weight it right here, okay. Like I said, on off, okay. There's that. There's just tires. When you're ready to aerate, you do this. Put the tires on the side. They're on the ground. Now it sinks, it's no longer riding on the tires, it's riding on the tires. Okay. These work. As you can see, I've been air raised dirty today. So it's all caked in there. Uh -huh. And as you go, you just keep getting more. And then as it fills, it pops out the top and it leaves these all over the place, okay? As you see, I got some dried up stuff in there. It's not really that big a deal. It still works. Okay. Clean yours off sometimes. Don't be a bum like me. Okay. Take care of your stuff. It'll take care of you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna make questions? Any questions? Um no. I think that's it. You're supposed to have a muffler right here, like a pipe. This is a muffler, but you're supposed to have an exhaust pipe that turns away. I do not. It blows right in my face. Okay? Here we go. is that it pulls itself. Um, what I was saying about the holes, see the hole? I say I want to be knuckle deep, right? <laughs> I'm actually to about there, okay? Like I said, you want to be a little moist. If not, it's too hard, you'll just like dunk, 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 punch the ground, it won't do much. This one will still get in there when it's kind of hard ground because it, the weight is pulling. Um, it's a great machine, but it's hard on your body. 
this one does not self freely turn. So the way you turn it, get into the end and lifting. <laughs> or if you're on a hill, you can push down. I'll show you. like what I have right here in this yard that are just a little like this the machine will want to pull itself down so you got to stand at the side and push down and hold it and you're like I don't know if y'all saw like when I restarted it, it kind of rips your body around but it works great so if you got one time you're using it you want to go rent one your yard's not too big especially if your yard's flat these will work great now you might want to look to a system that's uh, a little less beat your body up. Uh, I'm 5'9", 200 pounds, and I do this kind of stuff all day, and it still beats me up pretty good. So, yeah, after we get done, we're gonna seed. I'm gonna put about three to four pounds of seed down per thousand square foot range. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm shooting for the four pound range. Um, in the water every day, five, six days. Get a good seed, don't buy any of that Scott stuff. It's junk. Everything they sell is junk. Buy Pennington, buy Store Brand, go to a local farm and seed house and get a better product if you can. Hmm. Anything? No? If this is your machine, you probably already know. This is where the air filter is and the carburetor. If you have trouble and you jump it, boom, boom, boom. Screw that off, put some fuel in there. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No? Is that it? Did I show a good bunch of it using it? That's it. And you see how I cover the holes? Alright, so good luck on Air 8 in your yard. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day, each and every day.